video is about the HP 18C Business Calculator, which was first introduced by Hewlett Packard in 1986. The 18C was a leap forward from previous HP calculators in terms of its form factor, user experience and functionality, and it's established many patterns that are still in use in HP calculators to this day. The 18C was HP's first calculator with a clamshell case. Opening the hinge reveals a split keyboard with an alphabetic panel on the left and a numeric keypad on the right. Uh, and it's possible to lay the calculator completely flat on a table uh, and you can also fold the calculator back on itself to just use the numeric keypad and display uh, and that also lays flat on a table. You can also pick up the folded over uh, calculator with one or two hands and tap keys with your thumbs or fingers. A great aspect of this form factor is that because of its rigid plastic body, the calculator doesn't require a separate, uh, separate protective case, unlike uh, most others. And both keyboards feature uh, beveled or uh, chamfered uh, keys that HP introduced in the Pioneer series. It's interesting that unlike, say, the 12C, these sloped extra faces were not used uh, for printing uh, the shifted key functions. Instead, that's printed in yellow above the key. Uh, the calculator also featured a 23-column, uh, four-row LCD display. So the 18C was HP's first pocket calculator that used algebraic notation rather than reverse Polish or RPN. So you can enter formula in algebraic notation, but there's no precedence, and operands are simplified as they're entered. So if you wanted to calculate 2 plus 3 times 4, you need to enter parentheses around the multiplication. Another innovation with this calculator is that most of its functions are available by a menu structure uh, accessed through its soft keys. Uh, so for example, if you want to do a time value of money calculation uh, that's available in the finance menu. So say if I have a, a $500,000 mortgage I can enter that in my present value, um, and of course I want my future value to be zero. Uh, say if I have a 2% interest rate, uh, and I want to pay the mortgage off over 30 years, I'll enter that in N, uh, and then I can calculate my periodic payments. Uh, and so the, um, the calculator can enter any combination of values and solve for an unknown uh, so say if I wanted to know what mortgage rate I would need to uh, get to get my monthly payments down to, say, 1800 uh, I could enter 1800 uh, into uh, PNT and solve for interest. Uh, so, you know, in this way, it's uh, really powerful for a business user where you tend to have a lot of what-if questions. And so there's a lot of power hidden in the 18Cs menus, but the really notable feature HP introduced in this calculator is the HP Solver. And this is a generalized equation solver where the user can extend the functionality of the calculator by entering their own formula. Uh, so the Solver is available via the Solve menu, uh, and to start entering a new formula, we can scroll down. Uh, and so, say we wanted to calculate the total contract value amount of a subscription-based service. Uh, so we'd enter uh, TCV uh, equals, so it'd be the periodic price uh, multiplied by the number of periods. Uh, multiplied by the volume. And so now I've entered my formula, I can calculate it. And the calculator creates soft keys uh, for each of the variables in the formula. So now, say I can enter my price, uh, which is $50, um, say the contract is over a year, uh, and the volume is 500, uh, then my total contract value is uh, 300.
thousand dollars. Um, but say if I wanted to know what volume would require me to get uh, to a TCV of um, 350,000, I could enter that into the TCV and then solve for volume. And the solver supports functions as well, and one of the most useful is the if function. Uh, so say if I wanted to implement a 5% discount for volumes over uh, 100, uh, I can just edit my formula. Uh, and I'll skip to the end, and I'll just multiply by an if expression. So if the volume is less than 100, uh, then we'll return 1, otherwise we'll return uh, 0.95. And now I've got my uh, new formula, I can calculate it again. Uh, and so for a volume of 500, uh, 12 month period, and price of 50, uh, the new contract value is 285k. So the great thing about the solver is it allows the user to extend the functionality of the calculator in a way that's really consistent with the built-in features. Um, so for example, you can, I've actually gone and entered uh, the same future value of money uh, calculation that I, I showed you earlier um, into the solver. Um, and I can uh, hit calculate uh, and it will work in exactly the same way. So the 18C really added a new level of intuitiveness and consistency to HP's business calculators. And it speaks to the strength of the 18C that its basic design was preserved through the 90s with the Pioneer series, and then even on to the 17B2+, Plus, which is still sold to this day. Uh, one thing that has gone, though, is the clamshell form factor. Uh, the more, more modern calculators replace the alphabetic keyboard with soft keys, and to some degree I think that's a shame. I think that's why there's many people who believe that the 19B2, uh, which was a more powerful iteration of the 18C, but still with a clamshell case, may have been the best uh, business calculator HP ever released. Uh, and so I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful.